Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze and Math Club. Today I'm going to be doing the topic summary for adding and subtracting fractions. Now this is the ending topic, so I'm for the chapter adding and subtracting fractions. But I'm not going to be covering all the topics, okay? But I'm, I am going to be covering the ones I think that you need to learn more about, okay? So the first topic is what are equivalent fractions, okay? What are equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions are two fractions that are the same. How do you know they're the same? Well, here's how. So, for example, you have the fraction 2 fourths, okay? So, this is a normal fraction, okay? And someone comes up to you and says, okay, what? tell me the equivalent fraction for this fraction, okay? This is kind of confusing. Well, actually, you know that the equivalent fraction for this fraction will be, this is how, okay? So, to do this, we have to multiply the the numerator and the denominator, okay? But here's the thing, we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator but by the same number, okay? So, just random number is two, okay? So let's multiply two with two, and so we're multiplying the numerator by two, okay? So the same thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna multiply the denominator by two as well. So four times two and two times two. We know that two times two is four, okay? And four times two is eight. So, an equivalent fraction for 2 fourths is 4 eighths. So, you can just go ahead and tell them, okay, a uh, equivalent fraction for 2 fourths is 4 eighths, okay? That's how you can do it. Or, you can just do another one. Because there's actually a lot of, um, a lot of, um, equivalent fractions for one fraction, okay? There, uh, there isn't only one. It depends on the, uh, the number you times the numerator and denominator by. I mean, the higher the number is, the higher the, um, the equivalent fraction will be, but you need to know, know this thing. No matter how different they look, they are equivalent, okay? So, now let's multiply 2 fourths by 3, okay? So, multiply the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3, okay? So, 2 times 3 we know is 6, and 4 times 3 we know is 12. Can you write in math? 6, 12. So, another equivalent fraction for 2 fourths is 6 twelfths, okay? So, this is the topic of what are equivalent fractions. Now, how to find common denominators, okay? So, what are common denominators? Well, common denominators are two denominators of fractions, two fractions that are common, okay? They're the same, okay? So let's take the two fractions, uh, 3 fourths, okay, and 2 thirds. And we need to find the common denominator for both of these fractions, okay? So first, uh, the first thing you need to know, do is align these two fractions, so 3 fourths, okay, and 2 thirds. Now you need to find the common multiple for these two denominators, which is 4 and 3. So common multiple for the two number two denominators, 4 and 3. So let's write the uh, multiples of 4 and 3 up to 5, okay? So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 is, 4 times uh, 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, okay? 3 times 1, one is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 5 is, um, 3 times 5 is 15, okay? Now we have the, um, multiples of each number up to 5. Now let's find a common denominator, okay? A common number, okay? And actually what we're doing is we're not actually finding the common, uh, common multiple, we're actually finding the least common multiple, which is LCM, okay? So we're trying to find the LCM. Okay, so there is no 4 here, there is no 8 here, there is no 12 here, right? There is a 12 here. So we have the two, the two common numbers, which is 12 and 12, and the, this will be the least common multiple because the least common multiple is the first common multiple, okay, which is a 12. Okay, so we come back over here, so 12 is the least common multiple for the two numbers, 4 and 3, okay. Now, to find the numerators, we'll have to multiply the same number we multiplied the denominator with to get the 12, okay. So we know that 4 times 3 is 12, okay. So now we come back over here, so 3 times 3, because we did 4 times 3, right. So 3 times 3 is 9. So our numerator will be 9 over 9. So our fraction will be 9 over 12. Now, we also know that 
3 times 4 is 12, right? So, we come back over here. Since we did 3 times 4, we'll do 2 times 4, okay? So, 2 times 4 is 8, eight right? So, our numerator will be 8. So, the fraction will be 8 over 2, okay? So, now, we have our two fractions, the two equivalent fractions, which are, uh, I mean, the two um, common denominators, which are 9 over 12 and 8 over 2. Okay, for the two fractions, 3 over 4 and three, 2 over 3. Okay, so that's that. Now, we'll be covering the two topics, adding and subtracting fractions with uh, common denominators. Okay, so first let's do adding. So, for example, we have the two fractions, uh, 3 over 9 um, plus 6 over 9. How do we do this? Well, first thing you need to know is that you need to just... Uh, simply write out the denominator. You do not add the denominators, okay? Since they're the same, you'll just go ahead and write the same denominator. You will, however, add the numerators, okay? So you will add the 3 and the 6, okay? So we all know kindergarten math, the 3 and 6 is 9, okay? So we put an, uh, a numerator up here, which is 9. So now we have a fraction 9 over 9. We can simplify this because 9 over 9 is 9 parts, and 9 of them are filled. So that will be a whole, right? So a whole is a 1. So we can make this and simplify it into a 1. So our answer for 3 over 9 plus 6 over 9 is a 1. Now, let's do subtracting fractions with, the, with common den uh, denominators. So, for example, we have the two fractions, uh, 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6. Remember, same thing with the uh, subtracting. If we don't subtract the denominators, we just simply copy it down, so 6. We do subtract the numerators, okay? So 5 and 2. So let's subtract 5 minus 2. And kindergarten math, 5 minus 2 is 3. So we write our, denominator, uh, our numerator. And... Uh, Remember, whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions with different with common denominators, uh, you will sometimes be asked to um, simplify your answer. So, 3 over 6, we can simplify this. So, we know that 3 over 6 can be simplified to 1 half, okay? So, our final answer for 5, 6 minus 2, 6 is 1 half. So, that's that for the summary of adding and subtracting fractions. And we'll see you guys next time.